Cinema 5D at NAB 2017 is brought to you by B&H, the professional source for all your video needs. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. Tilta, arm your camera. Manfrotto, imagine more. And Olympus OMD, revolutionary in every way. Hi, this is Seb from Cinema 5D and we're here at the Band Pro booth with Jeff. Hello. And Jeff, you're introducing uh, a new lens uh, that you created in partnership with Ingenieur and Jepson, right? Uh, and this is the Easy 2. You already introduced the Easy 1 lens, but this is the Easy 2. What is, what is the special thing about this lens? Well, the Easy 1 was a 30 to 90 lens that is interchangeable with interchangeable mounts and interchangeable format, so we can work in Super 35 and full frame. The Easy 2 is the wide version of that lens. So you now have a lens that's 15 to 40 or 22 to 60, depending on whether it's super 35 or full frame. Okay, but it's not just a full frame lens that you put on a super 35 sensor. You have like a special lens element that changes the focal length, right? Yeah, basically the lens produces naturally a 40 millimeter image circle. And we put a speed booster in there to reduce that down to 36 for the Super 35 end, and that's where we get the extra speed at T2. And at full frame, you expand that out to 46.6 from the 40, and you go to a T3. So the lens is very versatile as far as that goes, but it also is versatile in mounts. In less than 30 seconds, I can change it from a PL to an E, or from an E to an EF. Um, so it's a very versatile lens in the, in the lineup. Very nice. So this is a, a zoom lens uh, with a, a wide range, wide angle range, and it has T2 on a Super 35 sensor, is that correct? Yeah, in Super 35 your T2. Uh, what we've done with these lenses is we've made sure they stayed short zooms. By doing that we get no ramping and we get very little breathing as far as focus breathing. So they're high performance in a small package with uh, the short zooms and we're able to get a lot of speed out of them because of using the speed booster to get us to Super 35 at T2. Very, very impressive. Uh, and I saw you also have a zoom rocker on it. Yes, we actually designed two systems. Uh, we had a lot of requests for a single motor zoom, just a zoom, uh, because most people don't use the, the servo on the iris uh, in the traditional ENG lens. So we produced that one, that's called the MSU-1A. The MSU-1 is uh, unique in that it is agnostic. We can use it with Canon, Fujinon, Ingenue uh, hand controls that are wired to the system. Or we can actually use the system with its built-in wireless system from MoveCam. MoveCam is the producer of the system. It uses a German motor in the system so that we get a high performance and very quiet operation. But the, it's a very unique system because you can program whether you're local or remote control or wired control and actually have an intermix of interfaces operating at single, uh, in a single operation. That's very handy. So you have a, uh, a remote follow focus unit as well that controls the zoom rocker basically. Yes, you can, you can actually do zoom, iris zoom or focus in a remote operation or a combination thereof. So if I decide I want to operate the zoom locally, I can do that with the rocker or I can plug in a remote and do that by a hand remote as well. So there's a lot of flexibility within the system. It also has a standard 20 pin interface on it so that you can actually say you have a C-Motion or a Preston system already you can plug that in through that 20 pin interface and just use the motors in the hand grip to operate with those systems as well. So there's a lot of flexibility within the system. Very nice, so for the complete package, how much do I have to pay? Well, I mean, to just give you a sense of it, uh, where you would normally pay around 30,000 or mid 30,000s for a standard uh, Cabrio or Canon Cine Servo lens, the pair of lenses, the easy one, easy two, uh, with the grip and uh, the, you know, the interchangeable mounts for the different focal uh, sizes, you will actually pay less than $30,000.
Less than 30,000. Yes. How about 15? <laughs> well, as far as the, we're talking about the pair, uh, in about the current price is about 25.4 for the package uh, for the lenses. So it, there is, it's low cost, high performance. So the easy one is shipping now? The easy one is shipping now, literally just shipping this week. And when can people expect the easy two? Uh, we're starting production in August. So it's a little, it's a few months behind, uh, but we are following up this year. So we will be delivering both lenses this year. So thank you, Jeff, and thank you for watching.